Hi guys! Okay, so today I'm starting with my brows already done. So I am using my NYX Primer, the Honeydew, my favorite. I'm putting that all over my face. And then next I will be putting on some Vaseline. Um, you know, it's cold outside, so my lips have been a little more chapped than usual. So I'm just using this to prime for whatever I'll be using on my lips later. So next I'll be using my NYX Eyeshadow Base in Skin Tone. And I will be putting that all over my lids. Um, I'm using one of my Zoeva uh, brushes and I love it. I stopped using this and I don't know why because it's actually perfect. So I'm putting it all over. Let's speed up the process a little bit. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to use um, just a light um, powder just to set my base so it's easy to blend my eyeshadows. Sometimes when you don't set it, you get like skips throughout your eyeshadows, so this is a good step to do. So using my Coastal Sense Hot Pots in Love Spell, um, it's like a pink toned um, eyeshadow. I'm going to put that in my crease. Definitely appropriate for Valentine's Day. Um, so I'm starting in the outer corner and then just buffing that all the way into the inner in circular motions. And then I'm going to layer more on just to intensify the color. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Also using another Zoeva brush. And I'm going to keep packing it on to intensify it. And then I'm going to use my MAC 224 brush um, to blend it all out so it isn't harsh. Because when you use like a color pink that isn't like a skin tone color, it can easily um, come off extremely harsh. So next I'm going to use um, another Coastal Sense Hot, Hot Pot in the color Cinnabar Rose. It's a little bit darker than the original color we used, so it will just deepen up things a little bit and make it even more vibrant. And I realized that if you use a white eyeshadow base for this look, um, it'll probably make the colors pop even more. Just a little tip. So I'm also going to go on the other side. What you do one side, you always have to do the other. And I'm going to use that same 224 brush and I'm going to blend. So as you can see, between each step I always blend. Always. So next I'm going to be using my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Catwalk Palette. I'm going to be using the color Beauty Mark from that color, I mean from that palette. And I'm going to put it in my outer corner, blending up into the crease. This will deepen up things a little bit more. This is one of my favorite colors. It's so pretty, especially with purple and pink looks. And then I'm going to just continue adding more um, just to deepen it up. And then that brush I was using before, I'm going to continue blending the colors together so it's not harsh at all. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I rarely use pink in my crease, but I actually really liked this. Okay, so next I'm going to use NARS Eyeshadow in Galapagos. It's a pretty brown color and it has a little bit of shimmer in it. And I found that eyeshadows that have a little bit of shimmer blend easier and this is such a nice shade it's so buttery it blends so easily um you don't even really see the shimmer so i wouldn't worry about that so next i'm going to use my lavish palette and just so you know you can buy me you can buy these eyeshadows individually i'm going to use the color rum cake just as a base for the glitter we're going to use in the future um i'm just using something that's like rose gold pinky toned because that's like the family we're staying in so um any color would honestly work just this is basically just for just in case some of the glitter were to fall out, you would have a base to peek through underneath. So next I'm going to use my e.l.f. Glitter Primer. It's like basically $2. Um, if you're just starting out wanting to use glitters, I would definitely buy this because a lot of them, a lot of other companies have nice ones, but they're expensive. So I'm putting it all over my lids. And I'm putting it wherever I'm going to put glitter. 
So next I'm going to be using the star of the show, um, which is Violet Voss Glitter in the color Rosalind, or Rosalind, I'm not sure. Um, it's like a pinky rose gold glitter. Um, it has little flecks of gold in it. Um, it's really, really pretty. I actually really love this. It would be really pretty in the inner corner or in your bottom lash line. So I'm putting that all over my lid. I'm not pulling it up too high because I don't want it to um, get all in my crease because I can start to look a little bit messy. And a little trip, uh, tip, trick, oh my god, a little trick is if you use a piece of scotch tape, it picks up the glitter that my, um, that probably fell from applying it. So next I'm using my, um, well I started out using this Tarte, um, gel liner, which I usually like, but for some reason it was not cooperating, like it was so difficult, as you can see on my face right here, I was completely over it. So um, I ended up using my Tried and True, the NYC liquid liner. I love this so much. So, doing what I always do, starting on the outer corner, pulling it in. I have a tutorial on how I do liner, so I will put it in the description box, and then I'm doing the other eye. Usually when you use glitter, it's easier to use gel because the glitter doesn't get all over the, um, the brush, like how it does with liquid, but I said forget it for this time. So next I'm using my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black. Um, mine's extremely dry, but I'm only using this because I'm putting on lashes, so I'm not really worried about it. I love this mascara usually though when it's fresh. So next I'm using Lena Lashes in the style Naomi. These lashes are so pretty. I really like um, how they're spaced out. That's one of my favorite styles of lashes. Um, and it looks really pretty with this style because it's not, it doesn't cover too much of the eyeshadow, so you can still see the glitter peeking through. So before I put on those lashes, I put on some glue and I let them dry. And while that's drying, I use my NAR, I mean my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. And I'm using the orange shade from the kit just to cover up some of those dark circles. Um, I mean some of my hyperpigmentation marks just so they don't peek through my foundation. So, those dried off, the lashes dried off a little bit, so I'm going to apply them. I stick them right in the center, and then I pull from the end, and then I sit down the inner corner. The inner corner is usually the hardest, um, but that just comes with practice and letting the glue get tacky. And then I push the lashes in just to make sure they're actually sitting on the eye. And then I'm putting on my other pair. I love these lashes. They're so pretty. And they were actually really easy to put on. Um, the band was actually the perfect length as my eye, which is very rare. So next I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in Coconut and Toffee Caramel. Um, coconut just a little bit too red and Toffee Caramel a little bit too light, so I mix them together. I always look super crazy in this part. Um, you, can, you can just mix it on the back of your hand, but... I never feel like doing that. I'm lazy, so I just do this. Um, and you, using my Real Techniques buffing brush. I'm not even going to buff. I'm more stippling um, because I want to get the most coverage possible. So I'm literally pushing the foundation into my skin. And bring it down to my neck. You know, you never want to mask. Make sure you bring it all the way into your hairline. So next, I'm going to be using my Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer in the shade Tan. And yes, it does look extremely light, but this is about the equivalent of my um, MAC Studio Fix Concealer I use in NC42. Um, I actually really like the shade because it's not too yellow. Um, and then I'm just going to put that on my chin, under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, and on my forehead. The huge. And then I'm going to take my MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter. And I'm going to put that on the sides of my cheeks where I would normally highlight just to brighten things up even more, even though you honestly don't need it. This is just an extra step because I'm extra. Um, but I just like it. And it definitely makes it, um, the look super bright, as you can see. Um, and honestly, this is okay to do as long as you know how to blend it out. If you don't, it can look a little bit stark. Um, against some skin tones, even mine, but you just have to know how to blend it out. And the way I do this is 
I use my beauty blender, blend it all out. And then I use the brush that I put on my foundation and I just press the edges so there's a smooth transition. As you can see what I'm doing right here. And I'm just putting it all over the concealer just in case it's a little bit too bright. It toned it down a little bit. So next, I'm going to use my Sasha Cosmetics um, powder, which I haven't used in a while, but it's still a favorite. And I'm going to bake, set my under eyes, basically anywhere that I um, used concealer. I always have to do it right by my lash lines because that's where I get super oily. So next I'm going to use this e.l.f. brush. It's literally $1. That's such a good brush to have. And I'm just wiping it off. I didn't leave my um, powder on too long because I don't want it to make it too yellow. Because this powder is extremely yellow. Um, and the concealer I used is a little bit yellow. So I didn't want to make it too, too much. So next I'm going to be using my BH Studio Pro Matte Finish Pressed Powder in 250. Um, I haven't used this powder in a while, but I really like it, um, especially if my foundation is looking a little bit light, it darkens it up a little bit. So next I'm using my CoverGirl Clean Collection Bronzer in Ebony Bronze, which I use in every video to bronze up my face a little bit, putting it wherever the sun would naturally hit, so on the tops of my forehead, um, on my cheekbones, um, and down the sides of my nose. So next I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm using the sh three shades from the bottom. I made my palette online. I didn't uh, buy one of the pre-made ones. So the shades I bought, um, I picked and you can't like just go in a store and get that already made. Um, but I'll make sure on my blog to put the three shades that I used. I for sure use one of the darkest shades that um, she makes. Making the kissy face just to make it a little bit easier. Next, I'm using my NARS blush in Dolce Vita. I love this blush so much, and it's so pretty with this look. It's like a raspberry pinky blush. Next, I'm using my Nubu, um, the Becca Cosmetics Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal, basically everyone's favorite. Look how much it this applies, look. Crazy, I had to put it on the other cheek because it was way too much. My hand gets a little bit happy with the highlighter, so <laughs> I got a little out of control, but honestly, I don't care. The more highlighter, the better, honestly. So I'm putting it um, at the arch of my brows, down the bridge of my nose, and on my cupid's bow. And putting it on your cupid's bow makes your lips look a little bit more plump, and it just evens out the highlighter. I think it's a necessary step for me. So next, I'm going to use, going to use um, the middle shade from that contour kit, and I'm going to um, contour my nose, which evens out all the contour on your face. And then next, I am going to use that Beauty Mark shade again, and I'm going to smoke out my bottom lash line. Um, this is another one of those Zoeva brushes. I really, really like this set, um, and it wasn't crazy expensive, especially for the quality of the brushes. Um, so I'm just laying the color down, and then I'm going to use that Cinnabar Rose shade from Coastal Scents, and I'm going to um, smoke it out. And I really liked how this ended up looking. I usually use orangey shade at the bottom, like rust colors, but I actually really liked how the pink looked. It definitely put me in the mood for Valentine's Day. So next, I am using my Rimmel pencil it's like a flesh tone color um i just thought black would be too harsh for this look um nude just opens up your eyes and gives you that doe eye look doe eyed look which is really cute for the holidays so using that same telescopic mascara i'm putting it on my bottom lash line on my lashes as you can see i don't have much but i make it work and i thought like this step is necessary when i do the flesh tone in the um in the rim of my eyes. So next I am using my um, 
crap, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> I'll put it on my blog. It's just to set all the powders on my face. As you can see, I'm almost out. So next, I'm using my MAC Chestnut Lip Liner to line my lips. I probably could have used a lighter color for this, but chestnut's always a classic. And then I'm using my Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Daringly Nude, which has like a pink undertone, which ends up looking really pretty. And in this step, I always make sure to blend it into my lip liner. I really don't like the look of like lip liner than lipstick. I think that looks really harsh. So I would really just make sure I blend that in. And then I'm using um, one of the new lip glosses I got from Bite Beauty um, in the color Rambutan. Um, it's really, really pretty new lip gloss. Um, and it smells bomb. <laughs> um, and it looks really pretty over this lipstick. So definitely this was a yes. It's sticky, but it's the good kind of sticky where you know it's going to stay. So that is the end of the look, ladies. I hope you enjoy. Um, let me know in the description box what you'll be doing for Valentine's Day. If you have a boo or a bae, um, I'll probably hang out with friends, the usual. Um, enjoy your holidays, and there will be more, one more video this upcoming week. Happy Valentine's Day, ladies. Enjoy! Enjoy!